In this video, we're going to learn how to add and subtract large integers. And when I talk about large integers, you can see what I'm talking about in question C and question D. We have large integers such as 24 and 31 in both of them. And the problem we're facing with this is that you can't use the number line to work them out. So we're going to look at two possible scenarios. In this video, we're just going to focus on scenario one. And then in the next video, we'll talk about scenario two. So scenario one is such that either both numbers have a plus sign in front of them, or both numbers have a minus sign in front of them. So we'll look at questions A and B in the example. Question A has a plus sign in front of the five, and in front of the two is a hidden plus sign. So that fulfills dot point one. In example B, you will notice that both numbers have a minus sign in front of them. So that fulfills dot point two. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve questions A and B using the number line, and we're going to observe what happens. Uh, well, two plus five, we don't really need the number line for that. Two plus five is seven but we need it for question B. So it tells us to start at negative two and to subtract five. Subtract meaning go to the left. One, two, three, four, five, landing on negative seven. So that equals negative seven. Now, let's make some observations here. When we look at questions A and B, they both use the exact same numbers. They both had a 2 and a 5, except in one case they had the plus symbol in front of them, and in the other case they had the minus symbol in front of them. And when we look at the solution, both solutions have what is called the same magnitude. So I'm going to write that down, this word magnitude. When we talk about the word magnitude, we, we mean it's got the same number, but not necessarily the same sign in front of it. So one of them was a positive 7, and one of them came out to be negative 7. And we can see when we did question B, we could have quite easily just said 2 plus 5 is 7 and put the negative symbol in front of it. And we're going to use this to solve question C and D. Well, actually, C, C we, can, we can just work out anyway. 24 plus 31 is... 55. And if you're wondering how you how I worked it out, well, I mean, you can just work it out using the addition algorithm if you have to, and it will come out as 55. Which means that question D would have the same magnitude of 55, and we know that because it's got the exact same numbers as question C, and because question D had the minus side in front of both of them, we know it's going to be negative 55. And this is a technique we can use to solve problems with large integers where both of them have a minus sign in front of them. And that concludes our video on scenario one. 